What's up guys, Chris here again, and today we are going to be reassembling our WE Glock 19 slide assembly. So, uh, if you followed the previous disassembly video, or perhaps you've uh, taken it apart yourself and you don't know how to get it back, this is the video for you. So, um, we're going to sort of do it in reverse order. So this is all the parts that's inside of the slide. Uh, we'll remove everything that we're not going to be working with. And again, just put all of the small parts in a tray so you don't lose them. And what we'll start with is putting the nozzle back together. So the way that this assembly goes back together is you have your rocket valve spring goes in first, then you have your rocket valve or floating valve and it's going in this orientation with a little tat knob at the top that way and your rocket valve blocker at the back. So first up, drop the spring in. You might have to tap it a little bit to get it to go in. You can see it's in there. Next we're going to drop the rocket valve on top and it should slide into place. Uh, at this point I just like to either take your a finger or a tool and just make sure that the rocket valve springs back and forth on, on the spring. Now uh, we're going to put the rocket valve blocker in and the part with the blocked off rear flat face is going to be facing from the open out from the opening so you have your screw hole here you have your screw hole on top so put it in and slide it into place and you'll be able to see here there you see plastic and when it's all the way in the screw holes align. So this next part is a little bit tricky. You take your tiny tiny screw get it on your screwdriver and what I normally do is I put a my uh, pinky finger in here and make sure the valve like the screw holes align when when it's pressed all the way down so to keep pressure put it on the table and get the screw started and that didn't go in straight let's see okay so here it's started and you wanna make sure that you tighten the screw all the way down so that the screw head is not sticking out but do not over tighten this because you're going to strip the threads so this right here is good enough just so it's not sticking out and the little edge you see right there is just some flash from the mold so that's the nozzle completed The part that we have left here is the nozzle return spring, and that comes into play when we actually put together the blowback housing unit again. So in this part, we're going to install, let's see, piston head and the piston head O-ring. And the screw being used for holding the piston head in place is the large Phillips head screwdriver with the rounded head. So we're going to take our piston head in this orientation, take our piston head o-ring with the grooves like this and slip it on. Make sure it seats properly on here. <clears throat> this and we're going to be putting the piston head and o-ring into the blowback nozzle 
and installing our screw in here. So I'm going to do that off camera just to make it a little easier for me. All right, so we got the piston head installed with the screw. And one thing I noted is that there's a little bit of play in the piston head, even though the screw is all the way down. Um, normally that would be seated fairly tightly, but um, this is a WD pistol, so who knows. Next up, we're going to be putting the nozzle into the blowback unit assembly. I like to flip it over, make sure you have these two tabs, put them, put it in at an angle, and work it into place. And then it's going to slide onto the piston head, like so. And at this point, we can also, with the nozzle all the way back, we can go ahead and put the recoil, nozzle recoil spring in place. So that's your blowback unit and nozzle assembly completely back together. Put that to the side. So now we're going to start working with putting the inner barrel assembly back together. Let's take out the parts we need. So first up, you'll reinstall the hop-up rubber on the inner barrel. And let's see if we can get a shot of this here. There's a groove cut in the inner barrel and that would be aligned down, so to speak. And this little tab here on the hop-up rubber would be facing to the uh, right side. So you just want to go ahead and, with the window cut out in the barrel facing towards you, put the hop-up rubber in place. You can rotate it a little bit around just to make sure it's seated in place. So next up, we're going to put the inner barrel and hop-up assembly into the right side of the hop-up chamber, like so. Make sure it seats properly in this cutout window and trying to sort of hold these together we're going to be putting our hop-up adjustment wheel on this little post and note that it's flat on one side and it has a circle of groove cut out on this side so the groove goes up towards you rotate it to where the 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 outer radius of the spiral cut is upward and that's just because when we go to put the hop-up arm in place it's in the least amount of hop-up adjustment uh, to, to just make it easier to install. So the hop-up arm has a little uh, bend here at the back that goes into the hop-up wheel cut out. Let's see if I can do this and it just goes over the hop-up rubber like so. And the final part is putting the left side of the hop-up housing on top and while keeping it clamped together, reinstall the two screws. Okay, so we reinstalled the screws, tighten them down fairly well. What you can do at this point, or actually before putting the screws in, just put a little bit of Loctite in there uh, if you want to make sure they stay together and also make sure that your hop-up rubber is properly aligned in the hop-up chamber so none of the edges of the hop-up rubber are pinched or sticking out. If they are, loosen up the screws a little bit and you can use your cleaning rod to just uh, push it into place. Okay, so with that completed we can put the inner barrel assembly and the outer barrel assembly like so put that to the side and the uh, final piece here that we're going to be putting together if I can find my uh, hmm there we go uh, this is a recoil spring guide assembly so recoil spring guide like so spring goes on top push the spring down and hold it 
and install the spring clip in this orientation. You just snap it into place. Let the spring come up and it's done. So right now we're back to our main components again. And what we want to do at this point is put the blowback unit assembly and nozzle back into the slide. And for that, we're going to need the rear sight and the rear sight screw. So simply mate the blowback unit assembly into the slide. And before you put the sight in and tighten down the screw, make sure your nozzle is moving freely in there. Put the rear sight into place. I like to put it on the table at this point. Get your screw and simply install it. Okay, so the final piece that we need to put back is the front sight. So we're going to grab our front sight, front sight screw, push the front sight into the cutout. It should sort of snap into place. Since this is a, a square uh, assembly, it should line up straight with the slide right from the start. So take your screw, reinstall it. Okay, so the slide is now put back together, everything in place, and we're now back to just your basic field strip um, disassembly of the pistol. So to finalize the reinstallation, put the barrel in place and Drop the guide rod in place like so, and you're good to go. Get your frame back out, make sure the hammer is cocked. Okay, this is a, a pretty common problem that might happen when you put the Glock slide back on. That is that the, the guide rod doesn't align properly. So you just pull out a little bit, wiggle it, and it's going to snap back into place. Rack it a couple of times, dry fire, and it seems to be working just fine. So that is the reassembly of the WE Glock 19. And in the next video, we're going to be uh, taking a look at the frame. So I'll see you guys in that video.